It's been 14 long months since Karen Marks has seen her youngest son, Michael. Just knowing that he's coming home and he's going to appreciate this country so much more after what he's seen. And he's just so ready to be back in the lives of everybody who loves him here. Mama and me. Loved ones like Marshall Duggan. You turned four when Mama was in Iraq. Marshall's marked his calendar every day for the last year his mother's been away. And for young Marshall and many of these families, the long wait is finally over. Marines from the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force are en route to our location as we speak. And then the buses arrive. There's not a dry eye in the house when you see a little child run up to their father or their mother, you know, and haven't seen them for such a long time. How you doing? Yes, I missed you when you were done. It's more than 250 Marines from the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force take their first steps back on American soil. They can rest assured the Iraqi people are in good hands after a year full of significant milestones in the Al Anbar province of Iraq. If you saw the look of these people on election day, and you see the look when they take their kids to school or when they go to, work, go to work in the morning. I mean, they, they don't think about the violence anymore, at least in Anbar and most of the rest of the country. They think of living their lives. Major Meredith Brown was able to focus on her mission in Iraq, knowing her family was safe at home supporting her. Getting to talk to my little fella every day it helps to boost morale and, and to let you know that you can focus on the mission because everything at home is fine. This was the final group of Marines returning from Operation Iraqi Freedom to Camp Pendleton, where they can now take some well-deserved time off with their loved ones. Marine Corporal Jen Calloway, Camp Pendleton, California.